it finally happened. This week, there, there was someone that I, see I started working out in the gym, in my office, and I've only known this guy for about a week. We've talked about health, you know, what we eat, exercising routines, workout routines. That's all we've talked about. I see him yesterday, and as we're talking about what, you know, do you eat this, do you eat this, all that sort of thing, this is what he says. From, from that conversation about what we're eating, he says, are you Jewish? I've never been asked that in my life, especially just so straightforward. He asked me, are you Jewish? And I didn't really even answer. I was like, and it, what's funny is he responded by saying, I was married to a Jewish woman and she passed away uh, and he got remarried, but he had children with his Jewish wife and he apparently converted to Judaism and they raised their kids going to synagogue and, and, and all that stuff. And he just saw it in me and he, and he told me that. Not just physically, but even a way of thinking that he could recognize being married to a Jewish woman. By the way, this was an African-American man who said this. He saw, he assumed correctly that there was something Jewish about me. And that's never happened before. And I thought, I got to share this with everybody who watches my videos as we talk about ethnicity and DNA test. And I've made many, much mention about this, how... My mom thought she was half Italian, and in fact, really, uh, instead of being half Italian, in theory, she was closely even to maybe even a quarter Jewish from her father's side, depending on how it all works out. We'd have to have multiple DNA tests to confirm that through other relatives, which it shows up on all theirs as well. But her grandfather was definitely Sephardic Jewish descent. And, you know, as of this Thanksgiving, I've been kosher for 10 years. No pork, no shellfish, you know. And there's this certain way of thinking, too, that's kind of an outsider's view of things that I think a lot of Jewish Americans have always had. Uh, and that's something you can recognize about Jewish Americans. Even though I'm much smaller on the scale of how much Jewish I am, which a lot of people say, well, Jewish, isn't that a religion and not an ethnicity? Well, I think it's a little bit of both, but I think more of it's an, it's an identity. And I think even too, with me politically, I'm, I'm definitely a libertarian. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. Even with sports, you know, Jewish people are known for not being famous athletes. You know, they're the people making money behind the athletes in different capacities. But as far as Jewish, and I've never been into sports, I've never, like, why would I want to do that? Who, who cares which color jersey wins the game? Jerry Seinfeld, who's Jewish, had a whole joke about that in his routine, saying, we're rooting and getting upset about laundry. They trade teams all the time. Adam ruins everything, who I don't think he's Jewish, has an episode about this and says the same thing. So it's this outsider's view. What are all these people talking about? What are all these people arguing about? Well, I've got better things to do than to worry about that. And I think that in some conversations, as we talked about working out and we talked about food, he saw that in me. That was the first time anyone saw anything Jewish in me and actually brought it up and just straight out asked me. So, cool little story. Your thoughts belong right here.